Hey, what is going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and performance in the new Apex Legends Season 17. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. And don't forget to leave a like and your specs down in the comments below, so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Step number one is checking for Windows Update. This is a really crucial step and I would recommend you guys to do it always. Simply search for settings on your PC and then look for Windows updates. Make sure that your Windows is always up to date. If there are any updates possible on your PC, make sure to do it because Windows keeps on fixing FPS issues and any bugs that are on the Windows currently. I would like to introduce you all to Orbison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android and iOS. Avisin Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Avisin Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Orbison Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number 2 is the best video settings. For that you need to search for game mode, in this case you need to go into gaming then go over to game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on. This will disable all of the applications in the background so you will be saving a lot of memory allowing your PC to work more efficiently. Right beneath that, go over to the graphic settings and then click on the change default graphic settings. Over here, make sure to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Then go back to graphics and now you will find a list of all of the games installed on your PC. What you're looking for over here is Apex Legends. If it is not already added, you can go over to the browse button and then in the installation folder of your Apex Legends. Now, once Apex Legends has been added over here, go to options and then select high performance and then click on save. This will utilize your GPU for gaming more than any other components of your PC. And this will really increase your FPS performance drastically. Also search for storage sense on your PC and then click on turn on storage sense. Then make sure the storage sense is enabled and Click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up the temporary systems and app files. Set the same settings, run storage sense every day, delete files in my recycle bin every 14 days and then delete files in my download folders never. Click on run storage sense now and let it do the job in the background. This will delete all of the temporary files every now and then so your PC's performance will not be affected by it. Step number 3 is deanimating windows and this is a really important step and for this you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Then select for adjust for best performance and this will remove all of the unnecessary animations on your PC allowing your PC to improve the performance drastically. Once you click on it, make sure to select smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. Both of these options are really necessary. This will maintain the default look of windows and it doesn't affect your performance that much but you need to disable all of the other animation options. Click on apply and this will drastically improve your PC's performance. Step number 4 is system configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC. Then go over to the boot section. Click on Windows 11 or your windows which will be showing over here. Click on advanced options and select the maximum number of processors over here. Then simply click on OK, click on apply and then click on OK. Then click on exit without restart since we're gonna restart our PC later. Step number 5 is using exit lag to fix all of your internet problems. Now if you're suffering with ping issues, latency issues and input delay or packet loss, I would highly recommend you guys to go and get exit lag from the link in the description below for completely free for 3 days. Exit lag is pro's choice to decrease the ping and packet loss and improve the performance of your game. Once you open up the application, you would find a list of over 250 games to choose from. You can simply search for Apex Legends over here as I've already selected. That is for me, it is the way 01. So I'll choose the way 01 as it is nearer to me. And you can see the estimated ping that I'm going to get is somewhere around 36 milliseconds. Simply click on apply routes. Then the best part of exit lag is the tools section over here. Simply go to the FPS boost, a dedicated tab 
from where you can also help your games to boost the FPS. Select the first, third, fourth, fifth and second last option and that is going to give you unbeatable, unmatchable performance and it is totally worth it. Now exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription for using exit lag. And if this works well for you, you can choose a 1 month, 12 month or 6 month subscription according to yourself. And if you go from the link in the description below, you can get a flat 44% off plus 10% bonus discount on your first purchase. So make sure to choose it wisely. Step number 6 is creating a restore point and it is also really essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select the system protection. Go and select your local disk C, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK, click on create and name it Apex Legends. Then simply click on the create button. Make sure not to skip this step because it helps in protecting your system. If anything goes wrong, you can always revert the settings and go back to the PC wherever it was. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. Now let's move to step number 7, that is the Apex Legends Season 17 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this pack up and you will find in 4 simple folders. First one is the PC optimization and you will find in 2 registry files as well as 1 folder. Make sure to run both of these registry files and it will be applying the most efficient windows settings as well as improve your thread priority. Then go over to the CPU priority folder and now you have to choose one file between AMD and Intel. Now this depends upon the processor that you're using. If you want to know about your system processor you can simply search for system information on your PC and look for the installed physical memory as well as the processor. For me it is an AMD processor and I am using 16 GB RAM. So, I need to use the AMD folder and run the AMD CPU priority file. It could be different for you, so make sure to choose wisely. Go back to the second folder, it is the RAM optimization. Now I'm using 16GB RAM as I found out in the earlier step. It can be different for you, so make sure to choose the one that you are using on your PC. And also I have left a reset to default registry file, so if this doesn't work for you, you can always restore it back to normal. Third folder is the input lag fixing folder and in here you will find in three simple registries. First one will disable pointer precision of your mouse, second one will disable transparency of your windows and third one is the win32 priority separation. All three of them together will work best to give you better input performance and I would recommend you guys should do it. And the last folder is the windows optimization folder where you will find in two batch files. First right click and run the cache cleaner and this will start deleting all of the unnecessary and unwanted temporary files on your PC. Now don't worry this is completely safe and it is only going to remove the files that are temporarily created and you do not longer need it on your PC. Make sure that some of them would not be deleted because they are currently in use by your PC. So just leave it as it is. Once it is done it will automatically close. Second one is the FPS bat file and you need to right click and run this as administrator as well. This batch file will improve your PC's FPS performance. This will be applying all of the network and console settings on your PC, allowing your PC to perform much faster. Make sure to do both of them. And once you're done with that, you can hop into Apex Legends and follow the best in game settings. Okay, once you are in game, what you need to do is click on continue button. And now let's move ahead and follow the best in game settings. For this, you need to press the escape key and then go over to the settings. Then Scroll over to the video section and make sure that your display mode is full screen or you can go to windowed and go with a lower resolution that will give you much better FPS. But I would recommend you guys to play on full screen and native aspect ratio. For resolution, you can lower it down to improve your FPS but I recommend you guys to play on native. For brightness and FOV, keep it 50% and FOV should be 110%. This will give you much better visibility while you're playing the game. For both of these options, make sure to keep it minimal because you do not want shaking when you are moving. For VSync, you can keep it disabled or adaptive one by 2 and that is going to uh, improve your FPS performance. And for the Nvidia Reflex, you can go with enabled or enabled plus boost. For some of you guys, enabled works best and for some enabled plus boost, so you need to check it out for yourself. For anti-aliasing, go with none. Texture streaming budget, go with low or very low that will give you the best performance. For texture filtering, go with bilinear 
ambient occlusion anything related to ambient occlusion you always need it disabled this is drastic fps consumer so you need to keep it disabled copy the same settings for sun shadows and for volumetric lightning anything related to volumetric you need to keep it disabled as it is a major fps impacting problem for dynamic spot shadows keep it low model detail effect detail and impact marks keep it low low and disabled and for ragdolls keep it low as well click on apply and you are ready to play apex so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me out a lot we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out